Hello everyone, I am Dr. Kamran, second year pediatric resident from PMCH Patna and I have done my MBBS from AIMS Bhopal. First of all, a heartiest congratulations to all of you who have cleared NEET PG 2024 with really good ranks. You have actually done a real hard work for the last one to two years. You have skipped meals, you have skipped many important events of your life just to be focused for this particular exam because this exam is eventually going to decide your future career options. Now, there would be many who have not secured the ranks they deserve or they wanted to have. So for them, I would like to say that please don't be disheartened because you are an MBBS graduate. That itself differentiate you from hell lot of people all around us. And we have three exams every year for this particular course. So why to worry? If you haven't got good rank in this particular exam, you have another option. So now without any further delay, let's begin today's video and with the title, you have got an idea that what all we are going to discuss in this particular video. Here, we will talk today about need PG counseling. So before starting the video, let it be very clear that who are those people who are actually going to get benefit from this video. If you are among those who have got a really good rank and you are 100% sure that you are going to get your dream branch with this rank in your particular dream college, then definitely you are going to opt for counseling. So this video is eventually for you. Now, if you are of that extreme in which you didn't manage to get good ranks this time, but you are sure that in next appearance, you're definitely going to get good rank and your dream branch, then go for it. Skip this video for now and come back next year. Now, if you are between these two extremes that you have got a marginal rank and you are not sure that whether you are going to get your particular branch or college, then this video is completely for you. Now, without any delay, let's begin the video. Before you do your final choice filling in counseling, you have to follow these five steps which we are going to discuss today one by one. So let's begin. Now, the first point is understanding the counseling process. See, this counseling process is new for many of us. Now, for example, in my case, when I attempted this counseling process like two years back, it was completely new concept for me. Because at my UG time, I have given offline mode of counseling where I physically visited AMS Delhi and opted for my college. But in PG, the things have completely changed. Now, even in fact, in UG, there are online counseling. The people who have taken this online counseling mode earlier, this will be quite easy for them, but there are many who haven't appeared for this online mode of counseling earlier. So getting a clear and good concept of how this entire counseling process works is important. Now, how to get correct information about the counseling process? Again, you should refer to the original and the authentic website. Now, in case of All India NBMS, uh, you can get their brochure where they have clearly defined everything from different rounds and the eligibility criteria. How many rounds they are going to have this year? What are the eligible criteria uh, they are requiring for? Now, every year they bring some kind of changes in all these criteria. So don't go on rumors and anything. Just read it by yourself and get it clear. You have to get a clear idea about your all India counseling process and also about your state college counseling processes because you're going to appear for state counseling also. So even in state, they have some kind of other different rules. So you should be well versed with that. Now, once you are well versed with the counseling process, now make it a habit to check your emails at least twice a day, one in the morning and another at, in the evening or before going to bed. Now in that you have to look for emails if you have got anything from the authentic websites and you also have to check the website, the original website of these particular counseling taking agencies and see for new updates or any new news they are going on new dates that they are issuing. In this way, you are not going to miss any dates or any important updates regarding counseling because there are many instances where people don't know that this was the last day of submission or this even this change has been implemented just because they were unaware of it and they haven't checked the websites or emails regularly. So make it a habit. This is going to help you. Now, once you know everything about counseling process, now the second step is analyzing the last year results. You have to get the entire list of all the rounds of at least last two years. Now there's a particular way how to analyze the particular result. So I am going to tell you how, what is the best way to analyze the allotment results. In the list, first you have to see all the people who have got rank in a range of 1000 plus to 1000 minus of your particular rank. For example, if you have got 4000 rank, so you have to see from 3000 to 5000, what all departments they have taken, what all colleges they have chosen. 
because more or less among these colleges and these departments only you are going to get your pg seat so in this way you will get a clear idea about what all colleges you can get coming to the third step is branch selection now branch selection is not something which you can do on spot it takes time it usually starts from the mbbs time itself now many of my juniors used to ask me that boss why is it important to go for uh, internships duties clinical duties if eventually we are going to have uh, neat pg or any set like exams where mcq is only going to judge us and we can learn all these uh, clinical stuffs in our pg itself so every time i used to say them that see you have chosen medical field as a career option but this career option is not limited to particular point of time the medical field is your life in this life you are going to give n number of exams and all these exams are definitely going to have an impact on your future but this one year of clinical internship duties is going to shape your medical future see in internship we get real hands on opportunity to see what all different departments of the hospital do what all the pgs of different department actually do and actually work so what are the scopes of different departments this clear idea you are not going to get from your books or from any youtube video or anywhere so a properly done internship can clear many doubts about what particular branch you should opt for so that was the first point of our branch selection criteria see the branch selection mainly depends on two factors first is your preference now the preference i think is the most important thing because even if you get a low rank or even if you get a high rank if you have a preferred branch in your mind just in case if you got a good rank like around 1000 and you have keen interest in psychiatry or community medicine then definitely you should go for it so don't go just with the flow that if i have got good ranks i have to go with radio or derma or medicine and if i have got low rank then i have to settle with some lower branches <laughs> so first point is preferences and preferences are usually made during our internship as i already told you now second factor in branch selection is what we have already done after analyzing our last year allotment list now in that list we have shortlisted some departments which we are going to get if we get that particular rank these departments are the practical results which we can get now we have seniors in our college we have seniors who have passed mbbs from our college and who are actually doing pg in different departments in different medical colleges and even in our but in our own college to get interact with them talk to them upon different streams now what is the fourth step now you have decided the branch you know what all colleges you can get as per your rank now the fourth step is also an important step here you have to get interacted with seniors from that particular department of that particular college about different point which we should kept in mind before choosing any college first most important which i think is the toxicity level in that particular department see we all know that pg life is quite hectic and that's an accepted fact but toxicity is something which takes that hectic schedule to another level and that should not be tolerated so get a clear idea about how much toxicity exists in that particular department now second is the academics now this academics thing is more important in case of medical streams like medicine pedia but for surgical you should consider more on the number of hands on number of surgeries you are going to get as a pg resident during your pg course the third point is the stipend now no if i am not wrong then those who are going to appear for this counseling will uh, will be in a age range of around 25 to 28 or somewhat around this only from here our responsibilities for our parents for our families has also increased uh, we have started helping economically financially to a family so stipend eventually is an important point to decide which particular college we are going to opt and the next is the bond period now see bond period is also very important some states have bond for one year some states even have no bond some states have bond for 3 years now the more the bond period is the more difficult it is for you to escape and work freely you can't uh, go for a scholarship in different states or uh, national universities till now you have a clear idea about what all Uh, about the counseling process about the updates regarding counseling about the branch you have to choose and about the real life scenario of that particular stream in that particular college and now comes the fifth and the final step before appearing for your counseling that is now open your computer or laptop open ms excel and the new project and in that you have to start making the excel sheet of the your preference list now in the first column you have to write down the serial number that is 1 2 3 4 and in the second column you have to write the department which you are going to offer 
you can opt for two or three departments but you already know the preference order now third is the college name fourth column would be of stipend and fifth column would be of bond duration now while preparing this excel sheet you have to prepare three categories of colleges now most important is the middle one because those are the colleges in which you have high chance of getting a md or ms seat so you have to fill first that particular colleges in the order you have already made in your fourth step now above that you have to put all the top colleges now for example if you have got a rank of 5000 you have put all the colleges from 4000 to 7000 or 6000 okay so, so these are the colleges in which you have high probability of getting the colleges give it a particular color for example green now above it you have to enlist all the colleges which there is less chance of getting it but they are better colleges than top colleges so even if there is less chance or even if there is 0.01 percent chance why to miss it so always try to keep that colleges first in the preference order then comes the second that is the middle we have already discussed now third will be those colleges which will be beyond 7000 now these colleges are not as good colleges as the previous ones but still in the worst scenario if you get that colleges you can go on with it in this colleges you don't have to put all the rest of the colleges but you have to put the selected ones because if you are from a, a hindi speaking state and if you don't want to pursue pg uh, from south india or from any state where hindi is not uh, normally used then uh, you want to offer that particular college so skip all those colleges you don't have to put all those in uh, that particular list now in this way you have made the list for the top colleges then to the actual colleges which you can get and third is the leftover colleges so this was a particular department for example if you have decided to uh, fill both pediatrics and surgery uh, in your counseling then in your mind you have the preference for the first put pediatrics and then surgery then for first you have to put pediatrics and the same effort you have to do for surgery and then put in the similar order the surgery thing in this way you have made the excel sheet now this excel sheet making actually takes time you have to give three to four days in making the proper list and uh, try to make it three to four days before your actual counseling choice filling starts because in that three to four days you will analyze every day that what all things you can change how this preference can change because every day you get some insights about different colleges and you can plan your list accordingly this way after following all the five steps before your actual counseling begin you have the entire list of colleges which you have to fill there are many students who just go for the counseling choice filling without any preparation and they will just fill as per the list shows but this is not at all a good practice because if you have done so much effort for studies and getting a good rank in need pg then it's your responsibility to give justice to yourself also and go for the counseling process very diligently and very smartly so all the best to everyone who are going to appear for the counseling process and we will meet in the next video till then take care bye bye